I wanted to go to Shakar Amr, this latest news we have, that he is flying right now, as we broadcast. Um, <clears throat> he's been released from Guantanamo after more than 13 years behind bars on his way to London, home. Uh, Shakar Amr had been cleared for release since 2007, but the Pentagon refused to set him free. During his time in captivity, he claims he was subjected to torture, beating, sleep deprivation, at one point lost half his body weight while on a hunger strike. He's never been charged with a crime. For all the more than 13 years he's been held by the Americans, he has never been charged with a crime. As recently as last week, British MP Tanya Mathias had called for his release. It's very scary, because, remember, he's cleared for release 2007 and, subsequently, 2009. So it's a form of torture to say to somebody you're released and then keep them again for years. Uh, can you respond to this, Whitney Brown? Yeah, first to say, Shakar Amar's experiences just are an endless story of human rights violations from his detention, uh, arbitrary detention, prolonged detention, no due process for trial protections. He's cleared for release in 2007 and held for an additional eight years. And the key issue was that, unlike the other British detainees who were released, he was a British resident, not a British citizen, and the U.S. used that as the pretext for refusing refusing to release him, even though he was cleared. There's also the issue of any of these men who are now being released. It's like time travel. They have been held, for many of them, over a decade, with no access to the outside world. If you think about how much our world has changed, it's like it, they're dropping them in there with into a completely different place with very little support, and there's no right to a remedy for the allegations of torture, which are absolutely credible, for the prolonged um, arbitrary detention and for any of the other violations that happen. And one of the things that helps victims of torture heal is to be able to claim an effective remedy against the state that tortured you.